Okay, g'day everyone, welcome to the video for this week. So in this one, we're going to be talking about how to process a, or reconciling an item for when a customer either pays too much on an invoice, so an overpayment for whatever reason, or a duplicate payment when they've um, accidentally paid an invoice twice. So first of all, we'll look at how to treat an overpayment. So we'll go into the bank rack here in the demo company. And the item we're gonna look at here is Ridgeway University. And let's say this is our invoice number here, ORC 01025. And it's not matching up here automatically as it would if it was an unpaid invoice um, for the same amount, or even a paid invoice but marked for the same amount that hadn't already been re reconciled. So what we're going to do, we're gonna to have to investigate this a little bit. So we're gonna go duplicate and go look at the invoice register. Business, invoices. I always like to use duplicate screens so that I can sort of have two windows on the go rather than having to sort of like navigate through the menu to get back to where I was before. So we're looking for this 618750 from Ridgeway. Let's go to, oh, we'll search the all screen because we don't know at this point whether we're not sure why it's not matching up. So we're gonna do a search and we're gonna search by invoice number. Oh, we'll just type in 01 or 1025. That should be good enough to pick anything up. All right, we can see here there is an invoice, ORC 01025, ORC 01025, that matches from Ridgeway University. And this is why it's not matching, because the invoice has a due here of 608750, but they've paid 618750, so they paid $100 too much. So I'm going to go into this invoice and just have a closer look to see if any payments have been, or we could, we saw there that no payments have been applied, but we can also see down the bottom that no payments have been applied. So this was the original amount here, 608750. They paid $100 too much. So we'll go back here, and what we have to do is create an overpayment. So we're gonna search by that invoice number. Here it is here. We're gonna select that. But if we scroll down, we can see here that we're still out by $100. So to clear that $100, we're gonna to have to create a new transaction for receive money. And we have to process an overpayment. Now it's very important here that you make sure that the contact name for the overpayment is the same, is referencing the same contact that is used for when you raise invoices. Because often it will just bring up some text from the, the um, statement line in the bank. And if you just go ahead and click yes, yes, it won't link to the contact that is Ridgewater, Ridgeway University. And it's very important that it links to that contact. So we're gonna just make sure we've got the right one, Ridgeway University. And um, I might even put the reference up here and I'll say overpayment on invoice 1025. So what this is going to do, it's going to create a credit note, which will be lodged directly to the AR register for $100. So we'll save that. And now you can see there's two transactions selected. We've got the original invoice and the overpayment for 100 to equal the 618750. So let's reconcile that. Now if we go back here and do a refresh, We can see that it's been paid, nothing is due. We're also gonna go have a look at the 
the debtors register, your accounts receivable, because we want to see that $100 credit note that's been created. So we'll go A's receivable summary. And there we can see Ridgeway University, $100, the negative there means it's a credit note. Another way we can see this is going back into the invoices, awaiting payment. And there it is there. And that OP there, that's your overpayment. And we can see that this is a credit for $100. Now, if we, this is why it's very important that you have the correct contact name in here, because what we're going to go do now is create a new invoice. So their account is currently $100 in credit. Let's say um, the next week we do another job for them. So we're doing a new invoice here, Ridgeway University, new job, $500, whoops, to put in the due date of course, now what's going to happen now is because we've made sure that the contact on the credit note for the overpayment and the contact for the new invoice are the same, it's going to prompt the system to allocate this outstanding credit of $100 that we are looking at just before. That's the overpayment. So you can allocate it or you can skip it. But if you have a different contact name here, it's not going to make the link. So we're going to allocate it. And here we can say there's out $100 on outstanding credit. We're going to allocate the full 100. And you can see here we've allocated the overpayment for 100 made on the 17th. And the amount due is now 400 rather than 500. So when you email this off to the customer, it's going to show all this that they now owe 400, not 100. Now you can also, rather than allocate the credit to a future invoice, you can offer a refund. But what I might do is show you how to do that in the next example. So the next example I was gonna show you was a similar instance, but for this, instead of being an overpayment, what they've done is accidentally paid the same invoice twice. So you saw that matching there. This is a payment I created before, but let's just pretend that this payment here has already been paid on the 8th of July, and now they've paid again on the 15th of July. So let's just pretend that's what's happened. So we've received $450 on the 15th of July and says RM2031, that's our invoice number. And we're pretty sure they've already paid us before and it's not matching, so we're wondering why isn't it matching? So we're gonna to go to invoices and we're gonna do a bit of detective work. And we're gonna search for this 2031. There it is, Majestic Contracting. And you can see it's already been paid. Let's go have a look at it. And we can see it was already paid on the 8th of July, but now there's been another payment for the same amount using the same invoice number as a reference on the 15th of July. So what they've done, they've paid this invoice twice by accident. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, we just need to pretend that that one had already been reconciled. So we're going to have to create an overpayment like we did in the previous example. 
So we're going to go receive money, Majestic Contracting. I just want to make sure it's picking up the right contract, contact rather. There we go. And I'm just going to put this up here. And I'm going to say duplicate payment. Already paid, what was it, 8th of July? Just so there's some good information here so that it's clear what we're doing. And this needs to be an overpayment. It's going to create a, a credit on the debtor's register for $450. So we're going to save that. And now we've got our overpayment here, $450. And we can reconcile that. Now we're going to go to our invoice register. And let's just say this might have been a one-off job. We don't invoice these guys regularly, so we're not going to offset it against a future invoice. We're going to refund the money directly to them. So let's just find it. In our awaiting payments. Majestic Contracting. OP for overpayment, $450 credit there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cash refund for $450 and this is going to happen today on the 17th of July. We're going to pay it from our business bank account and then we go add refund. So what this is going to do, it's going to remove the credit note from your invoice register. And then when we go back to our bank reconciliation, tomorrow when today's tractions flow through, we're going to see the 450 here coming out and it's going to match to that cash refund that we just processed. So that's pretty much it guys. Just a pretty quick one to show you a couple of instances that you probably will come across from time to time when invoices are either paid for too much or have been paid twice. And then we go through, create an overpayment, which sets up the credit note in the books that can either then be offset against a future invoice or, or paid out directly to the customer. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below if you'd like to book in a training session with us, we can organize an online training session tailored to what you need. Um, head to our website, there's a link in the description. We'll have a chat and we'll, we'll put something together that will get you to where you need to be and hopefully um, we can be of service. But thanks a lot for watching guys. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, we appreciate all subscribers. So, um, Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.